Everett Dirksen once said, a billion here, a billion there, pretty soon we're talking about real money. Well, you know, we're not talking about a real website when the federal government spends $634 million on healthcare.gov and we don't get anything at all that works. Now, John McAfee has said, we just need to scrap it and start all over. Mike Adams has pointed out the many systemic failures in it that it's not even completely written. It's got a lot of placeholder code and a lot of ipsum lorem type of things that you see throughout the code, as well as a bad architecture. And look at the amount of money that's been spent on this. They were originally budgeted to have $94 million. That was suddenly tripled in April of this year to $300 million. And then it was doubled again about the time it rolled out to over $600 million. And we still don't have anything that works. Now we're told that it's going to be fixed with a tech surge. Now, I guess they're just going to throw more programmers and more money out of it and just try to get it to work that way. They need to look at a book that's about 30 years old called The Mythical Man Month. And they pointed out very clearly that if you're talking about technology and programming, if you add three times the number of programmers, you don't get the project done three times as fast. Uh, usually it's going to take more time. Now, they were questioning Carney about this yesterday at a press conference, and they were asking him things like, well, now that you're going to do this tech surge, what's your estimate on how much money it's really going to take? How long is this going to take? And he pushed back and said, well, the budget for this is something that's housed over at HHS, so I would refer you to them. Take a look at this press conference and how he responds and how it ends. Address your question to HHS. I don't have that information. I don't, you know, I, and, and this is an operation being run by HHS. Uh, and you know, again, all of this information is part of, I mean, all of this is about the Affordable Care Act, which is a, a law that was passed and signed and upheld by the Supreme Court uh, in order to expand and improve insurance coverage no for the question. American people. So, I'm just saying, should they yeah. provide that? Well, should, again, should. I would refer you to HHS about what information they have and what they're able to provide. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Have White House officials watched anyone without insurance go through the website trying to help this situation? Couldn't we have a rep just come to the press briefing? <laughs> Well, while Carney pushed the responsibility off to HHS, Kathleen Sebelius, the head of HHS, was in denial. Waiting is not really an option. People can sign up on the website, at the call center, in person. We have people signing up each and every day. We just want to make sure uh, that the website works smoothly for everybody. Notice she said waiting isn't an option. People are signing up every day. Now, she was pressed by Gupta, Sanjay Gupta from CNN, in an exclusive interview, how many people have signed up? And of course, he could never pin her down on a real answer. He also asked her about when she knew about the problems. And she said, well, the first couple of days after it went live on October 1st, he said, but not before that? And she said, no, sir. In other words, they did absolutely no testing on this before they put it out. And as Mike Adams has pointed out, they have a lot of placeholder code in there, a lot of stuff where it will never work. It's simply a sham website that they spent $634 million on. Now, I think what they've done with the barricades when they shut everything down was really kind of a, an intentional metaphor for what's going on with Obamacare. They took something where people had free and open access and they went out of their way to obstruct it just so that they could empower the people at the centralized government. And whenever they centralize everything, what they do is they create bottlenecks. We see this over and over again when FEMA goes into a disaster area and all relief has to flow through it. Basically, the people are cut off. Very different from when it's a smaller disaster and people are able to help each other. And as Kurt Nemo pointed out in his article, this is pure fascism. He said, this is fascism at its most advanced stage, to be forced to buy from transnational insurance companies, making profits hand over fist. As Mussolini noted before the partisans strung him up, fascism is the merging of state and corporations. Thus, Obamacare is fascism written large. You know, once again, we have a yet another failed government program because it's not delivering what it was promised. But over and over again, we see that the failure is really only a failure to understand what these programs are really about. Obamacare is really about corporate welfare. It's not about providing health care or even certainly not affordable health care. In the same way that you have to understand what the Department of Education is about, what the TSA is about, and what FEMA is about. It's yet another one of those programs.